everybody, this is Taylor Small and I'm going to help my dad take this motor off. At the motorcycle. Everybody, we got to take the, all the wires and the hoses off and so we could take the motor off and fix it. So as my assistant Taylor said, we're going to go ahead and start disassembling the Zuma. Yep, that right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the motor off. And like he said, we gotta take all the hoses and the wires off. Um, after that, we have to take that shock, the suspension, and the center bolt. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard, right? Maybe a little bit hard. Okay, yeah. so we'll get it I done. Did, I actually didn't do this before. You've never done it before. Okay, well, here we go. All right, and then we also have to take off the uh, the suspension. Uh, looks like this is a 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter. All right, let's take it off. Let's go ahead and get the engine bracket to, this one's a 17. We can't forget to take the rear drum brake off, so we'll go ahead and loosen this. Yay! And we'll put this stuff together so we don't lose it. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Now we have the real task of removing the motor and the suspension and everything. We're going to go ahead and prop it up on some blocks here. This is probably going to take a little bit and I'm going to need help from my assistant. All right, to get a closer view of what's going on, there is the carburetor and the engine mount goes through here. Here is my starter cable, uh, exhaust bolts, blah, blah, blah. The shroud, if you're looking at this hose right here, this is because I forgot I left the compression tester on here. And this is the, the oil line that goes to the oil reservoir for the two stroke. Uh, looks like I got everything else disconnected. I just need to get that oil line taken care of and then we can separate this motor from the body of the bike. All right, let's give this motor a bath. It hasn't been given a bath probably since it was born. Uh, we took the CVT plastic cover off and when we took it off, Taylor was holding the, the impact and kept holding it and it broke the screw <laughs> into the the kickstand, uh, the not the kickstand, the on accident. it was accident on the Kickstarter, so we have to get a new one of those. But we're gonna go ahead and wash it. Let's go ahead and spray it down and put paper towels in the intake and not forget them there.
Okay, the motor's clean. I have access to this. I st still need to take the exhaust off, and I really want to crack this open and take a look on the inside. But we will save that for another episode. Today was the initial inaugural episode of the build series for the Zumo Raffle bike. 100 tickets, $20 a piece. As soon as I get this sucker running and I get it to a decent point where the rest is just cosmetics, it's running good, um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll start taking those raffles. But anyways, this is gonna be an interesting series because I've never actually done anything like this full on restore. Well, it's not really a restore because I'm also doing the, I'm doing a BBK on the motor. Um, that a BBK that works well with the stock carburetor, but I think I need to get a stock airbox in here also. But we'll see. Um, so stay tuned for the next episode of the Zuma Raffle Bike. Thank you.